What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Hill YouTube channel. Happy 4th of July and because it's 4th of July we have a very special episode for you. We are going to be taking a look at some of my favorite America USA themed action figures. Alright, as usual, if you don't already, please follow me on Instagram at Fig Heel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. Follow me on TikTok at Fig Heel. A lot of video content, interactive content that you guys can take part in. And get over to ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. And the Unreleased Wrestling Figure coloring books are available now on Amazon.com. And you can get wrestling figures for very cheap using Fig Heel as a code at checkout for 10% at HeroesHideout.com. But I don't want to take up too much of your time away from your families on this beautiful holiday. It's beautiful here in Jersey, at least. Um, we're going to be talking about USA-themed wrestling figures. Um, I picked out some of my favorite. This is by no means anywhere close to all of them, but these are some of my favorites. We're going to start down here with the Stinger. Now we have this defining moment sting. He's in the red, white, and blue. Obviously, Zack Ryder was modeled off of this figure. Um, not the same jacket though. As you can see, they did a new mold for Zack. But, look at that. I'm not gonna read this whole thing, but this is from 1990, Great American Bash. But let's just look at the detail on sting. The detail on the jacket, red, white, and blue all over. We got the Scorpion. The Stinger is in full Scorpion. And uh, this is the variant that has the laced boots. There's one that has like the more um, stylized boots. But I like laces. Um, I believe the other one is actually more accurate though. Um, some, I'm sure somebody can uh, correct me on that. Next up. We have Hacksaw Jim Duggan, red, white, and blue. He's got the blue knee pad, the red and white stripes. He's got the blonde hair with the brown beard, the American flag. Really cool. He's going right back on the shelf so we can get him out of the way. And another one, the retro Kurt Angle with the red, white, and blue. He's got the stripes on the singlet. Before bald Kurt, he does like this kind of tossing action. And again, we're gonna put him right back on the shelf. Where did I get him from though back here? Ah! Gonna get the other Lucy's out of the way. Here we have the Patriot. Now he is from Slammer Series 2. You can see, let me focus this for you guys. You can see he's got the stars on the top. They are embossed. He's got the eagle on the mask. USA on the back. The stars, the stripes, red, white, and blue. Now this head was completely reused for the blue blazer. You can even see the stars on top of the head. But I think that this Patriot has a special charm. You can make him do this action. Looks very angry when he does that um, for a face, but very cool figure that he had. Let's try and get him back in there. There we go. And last but not least, the Patriots' other figure that he had, the WWF Just Toys Bendem. I actually prefer this to the other one. I think this one looks way better. I think the mask is, is more realistic. The red on this one side, the black on the other, the gold eagle in the front, the, star, the five stars on top, USA on the back. I just think that this one looks better. 
Um, the other one was much more playable. I do prefer this one though. I mean, I don't know how you couldn't. This thing's it's pretty uh, pretty well done. And he's jacked, which, uh, you know, the Patriot really was jacked. All the stars are embossed on the boots, the tights. Not even sure why they embossed them on the tights because I highly doubt that his were. Um, I mean, the patchwork would be, but... So there he is. Now, let's talk about mint on card figures. I've got a bunch of Mattels here. They're not the only company that made USA figures, but they are my favorite company that has made USA figures. And next up, we're going to talk about the Macho Man, Randy Savage, from the GameStop exclusive Retro Fest. He's got the red, white, and blue shirt. The tassels are red and white. The red, white, and blue glasses. The cowboy hat. This thing is awesome. I mean, ha have they ever done a bad... Macho Man Randy Savage head scan. I don't think they have. And here he is on the side wearing something similar. He, does, he doesn't come with the jacket. It's the only downfall. He doesn't come with the jacket. But the rest of it's pretty, uh, pretty spot on for the most part. There he is again. And again, this is, this is modeled after an arcade cabinet, which is awesome in itself. But it says, Macho Man Randy Savage from Sarasota, Florida, 6 feet 2 inches, 237 pounds. Signature moves, the diving double axe handle and the scoop body slam. Finishing move, as we all know, is the top rope elbow drop. Elbow drop off the top. Ooh, yeah. Very cool. Love Macho Man figures. I will buy every one. I do not care what it is buying them up. Next up, this was a huge deal when this happened. Kurt Angle got his first ever Mattel WWE figure in the Entrance Greats line. Now, he comes with his Olympic gold medals, which I think is so American um, because the Olympics, you know, you go and you represent your country, and he was representing America, the United States of America. And uh, he's got the red, white, and blue singlet, just like the retro, but this one is much more detailed and just honestly looks better. What a great first uh, Mattel figure to have. That head skin is spot on. He's got the red elbow pads, the blue knee pads, the white boots. Awesome figure. And here's how it gets even better. It plays his theme song. All right. Now let's see what it says on the back. Does it say anything? says Kurt Angle theme song metal debut match Survivor Series 1999 and it says trumpets blare filling arenas from pure red white and blue American patriotism it's the only sound that truly exudes the three eyes intensity integrity and intelligence the WWE universe knows that Kurt Angle their hero and the only WWE superstar to ever win a gold medal has arrived oh it's true it's damn true all right, it doesn't say damn, but we do. All right, and we're getting to some of my favorites. All right, I'm working my way up. Next up, we have Series 59, Elite 59, Zack Ryder. He's got the, the glasses, very, very similar to the Macho Man, a little different though. Same design, different shape of the glasses. All right, because he, he was paying homage to um, three other figures that we have. So, so this figure is paying homage to the Stinger, Macho Man, and the Ultimate Warrior. So, the jacket he he didn't. I was gonna say stole the jacket. He w was inspired by Sting's jacket. The glasses were inspired by Macho Man's glasses. And his actual gear, the knee pads and the trunks, were inspired by the Ultimate Warrior, which we'll talk about. But, great head scan on Zack. I think it looks awesome. He's got the beard. Really cool figure. His signature boots that he always wears. The ZR on the knee pads. ZR on the trunks. A little bit of dirt on there. Or like, I guess you'd call that quality control issues. But um, there he is wearing the glasses. And here he is wearing the whole gear. And it says, Zack Ryder from Long Island, New York, 224 pounds, six feet, two inches, the Rough Rider, 
Uh, career highlights, Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion, Tag Team Champion. It says, the Broski from Long Island scored the victory for Team USA on Raw's 2016 Independence Day main event. Woo, woo, woo. Very fitting for today. This is from July. Very cool. And as you can see, this was when uh, Rob Schamberger did the art. So there was being a, like a picture drawn by Rob right there. Next up, another cool figure. This is from Series 30, Lex Luger. And uh, he comes with dumbbells, but he comes with very Americanized gear. Decent head scan, I think, for um, Lex. Not my favorite. Obviously, his hair is completely different than the picture here, but uh, he does have the red, white, and blue on the trunks, the wrists, the knee pads and this is when they had huge copies uh very long this is his first time in a line for um wwe mattel but it says primping in ringside mirrors before his matches as the crowd booed wildly lex luger began his wwe career as one of the most hated superstars all that changed however when on the 4th of july again and clad in red white and blue he slammed the 600 pound wwe champion Yokozuna on the deck of the aircraft carrier USS Intrepid. Luger was no longer the narcissist and was now the American original. Over the next few years, Luger was a fan favorite, but the WWE Championship always eluded him. Luger teamed up with the British Bulldog to form the Allied Powers, but the pair parted ways when Lex jumped ship to WCW, the first major salvo of the enfabled Monday Night Wars. But, um, yeah. So pretty cool figure. Uh, again, another 4th of July figure. And we already touched on this a little bit. The Ultimate Warrior. He's got the blue strap title. The red, white, and blue face paint. The red, white, and blue wrist, ta uh, wrist tape. We got the red, white, and blue um, armbands. The red, white, and blue trunks. Very, very American. He's even got the... The white tassels with the Red Warrior logo on the boots. This is from the Walmart exclusive WWE Flashback Series Elite line. And it says, Ultimate Warrior. One night, two championships. At WrestleMania 6, the Ultimate Warrior became the first superstar to simultaneously hold the WWE and Intercontinental titles. The Ultimate Return. Inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2014 after an 18-year absence from WWE. Very cool. Very cool figure. Again, I, I feel like they've really scored big on every um, Ultimate Warrior uh, head scan. Next up, the Ringside Collectibles exclusive American Made Hulkster. All right, he comes in the blue trunks, the white knee pads, the blue and white boots, Hulkster on the headband. I, I love this head scan. I know people used to make fun of it, but I don't know. something about it I just think is really cool. He's got his cross, but he is American-made. He's got the red, white, and blue American-made T-shirt. There it is. It says, back in the dawn of the American-made era, WWE superstars just didn't get any bigger than Hulk Hogan. From the moment he defeated the Iron Sheik to capture his first championship, a title he would hold for an astounding 1,474 days, Hulkamania was in full bloom. Hogan was everywhere, hosting Saturday Night Live, appearing on the cover of Sports Illustrated, even starring in his own Saturday morning cartoon. Even Hogan's feuds were larger than life, including a long-standing beef with the legendary Terry Funk, but it was... Hulk Hogan's rivalry at Rowdy Roddy Piper that generated the most buzz, culminating in the Hulkster taking down Rowdy Roddy Piper once and for all in the main event of the first ever WrestleMania. What a figure. What a figure. Just looks so clean. And it's not your typical Hulk Hogan, which I think is why I like it. And next up, we have Hollywood Hulk Hogan, the Toy Biz on the cycle. Look at that red, white, and blue on the bandana. The blue and white, got the white star on the chest. I feel like this is very American, so I had to include it. He's on a Harley, for God's sakes. Um, it doesn't, it used, to, it used to play the sounds, but you know, it's 
uh, 20 years old, guys. 20 years old, but still, cool figure. And last but not least, I'm gonna get a lot of slack for this. This is one of my favorites. This is the not really Mr. America, but it's Mr. America. It's Hulk Hogan, Create a Superstar. I love this figure. I don't know why. I don't know why it's my favorite. Obviously, look, comes with the American made, Hulk Hogan, Run Wild Forever, all that stuff um, on the tattoos, but it's the Hulkster, and he's in very Mr. America-esque gear. He even comes with a red mask. It's not exact. I'm aware of that. It's not exact, but they knew what they were doing when they made this. Okay. Um, for those of you that don't know, see, and there's, there's more of what the tattoos look like. For those of you that don't know, the Creative Superstars line, you could interchange parts, interchange accessories with different figures and create your own WWE Superstar, um, which a lot of people did. And this was one of them. I loved it. There's not really much to say about it. I'm gonna get a lot of flack for thinking this is one of my favorites. It's not my number one favorite, America. I just thought it would be fun to save it for the last, but I do think it's very, very cool. And I love the idea of Mr. America. And I hope that we eventually do get one. So yeah, guys, that is our 4th of July video. We did Sting, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Kurt Angle, Zack Ryder, Lex Luger, Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan, because he is the Omega um, American, you know, he's a real American. So, hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, at FigHeel, and that Unreleased Wrestling Figs. Zack Ryder does. Check me out on TikTok, at FigHeel. Check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books, Volumes 1, 2, 3, and 4, as well as Color Mania, which features the first three volumes for a discounted price. Stay tuned for series uh, for volume five and a new series of books that are coming. Uh, head over to heroeshideout.com. Use code FIGHTHEEL to save 10%. And you can check out our merchandise on prowrestlingtees.com slash FIGHTHEEL. Take it easy, guys. Happy 4th of July. Get outside. Enjoy time with your family. And eat some American food. You know, hot dogs, hamburgers, all that stuff. Take it easy. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at FigHeel. Check out my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash FigHeel. Head over to Heroes Hideout for all your figure needs and use code FigHeel at checkout to save 10%.